Hi, so I'm here today on the M2 MacBook Air, which I just got a couple of weeks ago. I've uh, done a few videos on it and uh, some specific use cases. Today, I'm going to open 100 Chrome tabs on this machine. Now, I've done this 100 Chrome tab opening test on the M1 MacBook Air with 8 GB as well previously. And uh, you can see the link in the description. And uh, the reason I like to do it is it's kind of a stress test. And uh, before I start, notice that I already have the activity monitor open. And as you can see, um, you know, there is no uh, cache uh, swap file right now. And there's no memory pressure. The bar is green, which is good. Um, Google, uh, we are using OBS Studio to record this. So that's using a little bit of memory, 1 GB in fact. But Chrome itself, with one tab open, is not using a lot of memory. All right, so it's a couple of hundred over here. There's a helper pro uh, process going on. So not much. This is going to change dramatically as I now click on this to open the 100 tabs. So let me just do that and get this thing started. There you go. Now, a lot of these are going to look blank while they're opening, but they are opening up because um, it's going to take some time for the internet connection to actually load them and then it moves to the new tab. And so they look white, but in fact, they're opening up. Um, and I'll just show you in the end. The As you can see, the swap file now starts to grow. Uh, sorry, this, the memory pressure now starts to grow. The swap file is still zero, but it's going to change as soon as we run out of memory. Um, and, uh, and, and and just to be clear, this is not a normal use case for me. I don't generally have 100 Chrome tabs open. Um, but but uh, the reason I like to do this is because it's kind of a stress test because people worry about the AGP memory a lot. And they think that once the memory fills up, the performance will degrade dramatically. In my two years of usage of the M1 MacBook Air, that is not the case. I was quite happy with 8 GB. I made a lot of videos around that. You can go check them out on the channel page. And the M2, I expect the performance to be even better. As you can see now, the swap file has come into play. It is over 1 GB at this point of time. Uh, the tabs are still opening up. Um, and and uh, but, but the computer is responsive and it has not frozen or anything like that. And it's handling the process so far quite well. You can see all the Chrome helper uh, processes stacking up up there. So I don't want to speed this up or cut it in any way. So we're just going to wait for these tab openings to complete. Uh, I think we are almost there uh, because the memory is now starting to stabilize a little bit. Uh, once all the tabs are open, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and use it like a computer, like a normal usage. There we go. I think we are done here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and, and see if the computer is usable and responsive at that point. So um, a, a lot of these tabs, as you can see, I can just show you randomly. Some of them have not opened up, but that's more a reflection of my internet connection. Some of this, uh, the, the links might be dead because it's an old site which opens these uh, 100 sites. And some of them might be you. But, but, you know, the tabs are open. And uh, yeah, the graphics are there. Everything is there. I can switch between them easily without any lag, without any freezing. Um, and even though I'm using the big swap file, it is not causing me any problems so far. Um, yeah, there you go. I can just show you a couple more tabs. There you go. I can click on some of these tabs as well just to show you that everything is working. There you go. And I can navigate away as well. So no problem there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open actually uh, Chrome, uh, sorry, Safari and use it in my normal fashion. I'm just gonna open the Guardian website, for example, here and see if it's snappy and if it's uh, sluggish or it's sluggish. And uh, what I find is that, yeah, it's absolutely fine. So remember, we still have those 100 uh, tabs open in Chrome. We still have the uh, huge swap file out there, but everything is fine. Um, I'm able to do this. Let me also open up The Verge, which is kind of a heavy site. Um, and yeah, all the graphics load up, all the special effects, you know, these sort of side windows stopping and going, which is probably using a lot of scripting, JavaScript or some library. Uh, they all work just fine and there is absolutely no problem whatsoever. So what we find is that uh, as expected, the machine holds up very well. Yes, it does end up with a swap file, which is pretty big as you can see at this point of time, but does it actually slow down the machine? Not really. Uh, one final word on the swap file, because when the M1 first came out, there was a lot of articles and videos about how, you know, the swap file is going to kill your hard drive and and, and don't do this. And, and there were sort of a lot of alarmist videos about it. Um, it doesn't do anything of the sort. All right. I've been using the swap file for um, I've been using the M1 MacBook here for a couple of years and I haven't really had any issues with it. I'm actually going to go ahead and open Excel as well right now um, just to sort of make it even harder. Um, I'm going to open one of the templates. Uh, again, I would not be opening my mission critical projects with like 100 sheets in this, but just to see even if it's usable at this point. So I'm just going to use this template, which is a simple budget template. 
um, open it up and see if it opens up nicely and if I can sort of uh, scroll through the sheet and open up the formulas or not. So let me just open this up and there you go. It opens up quite quickly as you can see. Um, yeah, I can scroll through it, no problem. If I change a number somewhere, uh, let's just do that. The graphs will change, there you go, instantaneously. So yeah, for everyday uh, work, the machine is as if I did not have those tabs open. Um, so yeah, I think it has passed the test quite nicely. Um, I noticed that, you know, it is quite intelligent about it. If I have a lot of processes stacked up and really the soft file sometimes can grow even bigger, even if a program is sluggish, if I keep using it for a while, or for a little while, I should say, it will bring more resources to it, the one that is active, and, and it'll get faster quite quickly. Uh, although in this instance, you have not noticed any slowdown at all. So there you have it. I think the machine has, as expected, passed this test. You should not be afraid of opening a lot of Chrome tabs on the uh, M2 MacBook here. Uh, it handles them quite elegantly, quite well. It uh, is using swap file to sort of compensate for the AGB memory. But as a user, as an end user, you don't really notice that. And no, the soft file is not going to kill your hard drive like I explained. So uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I should say don't sort of base your entire purchase decision of whether to have 8 GB or 16 GB memory on this video alone. This is a stress test like I mentioned before. It is not a usual scenario. I do have other videos which explore this in more detail for specific use cases. Go check them out on the channel. But this is just to give you an idea of extreme conditions and specifically with Chrome because people are so afraid of Chrome and they think that Chrome is going to eat up all my memory. As you can see, um, you know, it, it's fine. So that's the video. Uh, more videos will be coming on the M2 MacBook Air. So do subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.